What's the name of the gold farm video portion? Oh, then you didn't miss much. Uh... If you want me to tell you, I mean, I'm going to anyway. It was just me gathering some resources for the, uh, gold farm. So that's a little thing, by the way. Uh, I did run some vaults. Yes? Yeah, I ran some vaults off camera because I suck. Um, I hopped on and... Abe, Zinkara, and Jordan were all running while I was, like, literally in bed. And I woke up and checked Twitch and I'm like, fuck, they're on. <laughs> so I got myself some food and hopped on and they were like, Hey, wanna run some vaults? And I'm like, I guess so. So we ran like three and I completed one, which was cool. Didn't get like too much experience because of the change, which is nice. But we did hit a crystal room. Me and Abe kind of tore up a crystal room together and I've got some of these. So I'm going to start today off. Um, but we're going to start off today with this. All right. Hey, run me up. That 13 looked really good at the beginning there. How many ores did I put down? Like 20 something? I think I put down 23? Shit! That's a good haul! 26? That's above the average of two. I don't know what's the average. I think it was like 2.1 or whatever. I don't know. From season two, but not bad. It's like 13 Benetite. Come on, baby, please. Aw, oh, fuck. What did I... Nine of you? Not bad. We're gonna do a game in a second. Come on, five up! What the f What the fuck, man? More like one up. Dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> Not a good start to the day. Honestly, punishment for running a vault offline. Who the hell is this guy? Story for today, schedule for today, is that we're building the gold farm. Because I didn't do it last night. We kind of decided a little bit late into the stream. It was already like seven hours up time. Couldn't do it. So we've been getting some stuff for it. We got a bunch of magma blocks. We got all the glass we need. It's like right here. Oh! Mushrooms!
I think honestly, this is where I'll probably like want to do. I think I'm just going to do this off camera to be completely honest with you guys. My brain right now is not going to allow me to do this on stream. I'll come up with a design off camera when I have a little bit more of a clear head. Because respectfully, I don't want to take any suggestions just because I can't handle them and also I don't want to. <laughs> and if I stare at a problem for a little more than 30 seconds, that's what's going to happen. And I just am not in the mindset for that right now. So I'm just going to take care of it off camera. I'm just going to come on next stream. You're going to be like, whoa, that's so cool. Look at that thing. It works because it totally will work by the start of next stream. You're... Run me up. Took a little bit. Scav! That one seems manageable. That one seems manageable. Oh, I forgot my minimap is incredibly large. <laughs> I'm going to take a second to adjust that. Setting size 66, please. Thank you. The zoom is also fucked up, but that is completely okay. All right, we're going east. What do we need? Skeleton bone shard, living chest rip page. So coin pile, we kind of need like a little bit of everything. We need a little bit of everything. We need a little bit of everything in this vault. And that'll start the coin pile. Where did you come from, and why are you both incredibly hard to deal with? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, 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 I'm not in a level 9 vault anymore. <laughs> I ran three vaults today at a much lower level, and I was able to go into POIs with a lot more confidence than I can here. I gotta adjust back to my own, uh, my own level of danger. Get off me, spider. I have to just make it very clear that you guys terrify me. You specifically, though. Back off of me, man! Damage that you put on me. Ridiculous. Holy shit, man. Also, are you guys coming from... A dungeon? Oh, boy. I figured that would happen. I just kind of wanted to yellow it. These guys are insane. It's unfortunate because I wanted to get haste too before going into this vault. I wanted to uh, level up to 21 to get haste too. A correct script. We got one. That's a start. Now I gotta figure out what's going on in here. Oh my. Hello. Oh shit. I found the horse. Oh god, and the mobs have found me. Hello everybody. What if there's a black opal in here, you know? What the fuck? From behind? How did you do that? How'd you pull me into you? This is literally just a Laramar. Just a giant bit of Laramar in here. Bro, I wish I had TNT. Are you kidding me? Cool little spot. A little Benny type. Alright, I think I've spent about five minutes in this room and I've looted two POIs. Not exactly my best work. Not exactly my best work.
Surely I still have an empty jar, though. Saddlebag. I did not need that. Slayer Mall or all I see are eggshells. I am getting my eggshells back for the amount that I spent. That is true. That is very true. Not really looking for anything in here right now. Don't believe there's anything up there either. Put the script on a shulker box? Yeah? What's the problem with that? It's on my body. It's not like it's going anywhere. Oh, the wizard wand. Everything but the thing I need. Where was the, uh, where's the dude? I don't know. All I know is I don't have my jars. Mark the rooms, please. Why? I have my compass. I'm safe. At least I think I'm safe. Oh my, I would like to go to that place. What the? So much damage. One cracked skirt, please. That's a nice candle. Cool, got the cracked skirt. Beautiful. God, yeah, this really just relies on uh, getting a living, like a good living area. I can't I spent so much time in the initial room. This scab should be much further down. Are you grabbing a driftwood? It's a weird habit. Valuing inventory space, and for some reason, driftwood isn't something that I. Consider valuable enough at some points in time, even though I should. Oh, my. If we needed a spider soul charm. If only. Nothing but zombies. I appreciate that very much. Now will be a really great time for that jar. <laughs> Come on, dude. The ornates are not having it today. And then up here. I see someone up there, actually. Yeah, I thought I saw you up here. Oh, 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 oh. That's a good bit of damage right there. Yeah, the ambush spawner chain is really, really welcome. Honestly, I kind of prefer ambush spawners over regular spawners. Where are the jars? The jar! Finally! God bless you, and have a great night.
Oh, well, the scab was a nice idea for a little bit. Yeah, the scab was a good thing for a little bit. Could definitely still do it. Just, uh, you know, have a little bit of a pit stop first. That might cause some spawning issues. Not exactly sure if it will or not. No. Damn. Oh! Whoa! Narrator. Oh my god, I got rid Narrate of my taunt small. fear. I got rid of my taunt fear. The the hockey for it. Oh fuck. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I forgot I forgot to switch that off. Oh shit. We're fine. We're fine. How the fuck did that guy? How'd that dude spawn? Crafting. Crafting. Thank you, Brian. N narrator. Off. Uh, I think I know how it happened, actually. I can't be taking this fight nonchalantly right now. I'm very low on HP. Hey, come here, bud. Hey, spider. Thank you, shield. Alright, um... Just a moment. Yeah, that would have been nice to have uh, switched back from before. Oh god, okay. Um, thank you. Well, that was funky. Yeah, I'm on fear, so I wasn't able to activate it. No, so dug down with only five blocks of my hotbar. Very poor decisions all around, I'll be honest with you. We're good, though. Thankfully. I think there was one spot that I might have opened that allowed a spawning space for a zombie, because otherwise that should not have happened. That is strange, though. Uh, skeleton bone shard. If there's another one in the chest to the right, that'll be... That was almost the freest bailout of a scab I've ever had in my life. Back off there, bud. I'm no longer feeling sleepy. Damn, that's crazy. I am. <laughs> Can I spawn on your wall? That's interesting. They might actually be able to. Like spawn on top of the wall and then drop down. That could be a possibility, actually. Where's the, uh, third one? Is there no third one? Not living. Time to bring glass into the vault. <laughs> oh, 
I'll tell you what, it is time for it's time to retire that build and get a new one. Time alter. Can't think of something I'd like to do less. This room looks tricky to try and navigate around. God, this goes high up. Should I be up here? I don't like being up here. There's not enough things up here. And there are, but they're not what I'm looking for. I don't even really want to go to you. I kind of just want to focus on the objective. Do a drop-off point? Uh, yeah, I found a drop-off point. Well, what the heck's up with that now? Oh? I did not mean to just fall down like that. I slipped? Hey, guys. Surely with the moss on the walls, this is a living chest location, right? Hey, this don't seem like a living chest location. Yeah, this ain't very, uh, living. If I do say so myself. But now I'm here and I can't really leave. Okay. I mean, nuggets aren't bad, don't get me wrong, just, um... Oh dear. I should have blocked you off from being able to do anything, right? Yeah. Thanks for not being too much in a rush to try and kick my ass. I appreciate that greatly. Anything up by chance? Nope. Got a very quiet room. All right, let's try and remember where this room is specifically. One room south. This is the greatest day of my life. Digging in the walls isn't doing too well. Are they like not really inside of the walls much anymore? You can't be here. This isn't your room. It's mine. <laughs> Are there spawners in these? Oh my god, there's not. Oh my god, mine rooms don't have spawners anymore. I love this version of Fall Hunters, man. Good joke, by the way. <laughs> oh, God, dude, I'm gonna have to leave, though, is the thing. Like, oh, man. I'm so happy I'm here, though. I cannot overstate that. I'm just gonna have to leave at some point is the problem. <laughs> I can't just stay here indefinitely. No matter how 
badly I want to. Oh my god, I've never found a miner before. It's my first one. If I had the bone shards, I probably would have just left the... I probably would have just left. Also, I think I regret going uh, vein miner 17, whatever I did. <laughs> I kind of regret going Vein Miner 17. Leave it one minute. That is such a good idea. I'm not going to do that. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think I got to leave it like four minutes. I have one more minute in here and then I have to go. I don't know how far away I am from the uh, entrance or from spawn is the thing. I know I have my compass, but this is a late mine room. I can't be greedy here, dude. Or the black opal? That's a damn good question. There it is. I gotta go, I gotta leave, I don't see any other fancy ores, I gotta go. I gotta go, I gotta leave, I gotta go. We take what we have and we depart from the game. quite happy with the amount that I or amount of time that I spent there I think that was good and it wasn't too bad I also think the vein miner that I had did fuck all <laughs> I want my skill points back <laughs> well then Greeds are hot. not the room I was expecting to find I'm gonna be completely honest with you hey Peter hey Peter Let me up. That's where the regret points come in. Yeah, but like, what if I find another mine room? Or what if I pass an Omega Dix? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. 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 Or like, what if I pass a, uh, a village challenge? You know, man? Or like, what if I pass an actual village? You know, just like, what if I pass like every different type of vault and room in the entire vault? You know what I mean? Like, what about an ornate uh, Omega room, right? How far off am I from the spawn? I gotta go, dude. Get me out of here, man. It should be, like, right here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, cool. So my ass long enough. God damn, god damn, damn. Oh. That's nice to look at. <laughs> I'm out. Could have graded for 90 more seconds. Actually, insanely real. 7,700 experience. How much time did I have left when I found that room? Was that like seven and a half minutes? I would have been set for the series if I found that at like 20. I'm not going to be ungrateful. Just a little bit. Like 730-ish? Yeah. I mean, and I was far as shit away from the vault, to be honest with you. I only would have had two minutes in there. Extra. Ninety-seven.
Good. Good return. Good return. 23 Benicide Ore, I believe. Well, there's our knowledge. Sorted and done with. 85 off 23? That is a gnarly return for that large of a pool. Oh my god, I'm gonna get like 10 painite. 25 painite ore. Oh my god, that was a three per ore return. Holy shit! That was incredible for both of these, man. God damn! There's the balance. How many you got for me here? Three on return of that? What about Skell? Four for three? Okay. Bombing night, please God. Thank you. Black Opal? Four for two. Modest, I'll take it. Sparkle Teen? One for one. Thanks, Jordan. Two for one on Telbium? Five for one on Upbleed? Call that five up! <laughs> and six for two on Xenium. Oh my god, man! That was a pretty good haul, I'm gonna be honest with you. That was a really damn good haul. Jesus. I was hoping more than anything for the Benetite because like that sets our knowledge because we need Benetite 16 per knowledge star. So now we have 51. So that's enough for, what is that? Six knowledge shards? And it's an extraordinary Benetite and Vault Diamonds for a knowledge core. So extraordinary Benetite. How much Benetite do we have? We have enough for 10 of those now. Oh my god. What about Vault Diamonds? We have 68. That's enough for... 8. Right? 8 times 8 is 64. So like... If we wanted to... We could slam down Create. Like... In the future, like in the nearest future. I don't know if I'm ready for that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. I need like a, a mental prep because we got to do some base work and things. Like I got to expand the base. We're not ready for that yet. But. Oh yeah, more diamonds in here as well too. Yeah, true. I'm not ready for that yet, but the premise of it seems pretty sick. Well, that sounds pretty exciting. In the meantime... Let's do a little bit of mess around with the, uh, the paint out that we've got here. Because what I really want to do... Let me grab a, uh... Can I get a magnet crafted? Just a brand new one, please? Oh yeah, thank you, thank you. I want to, uh... I want to mess around with a new magnet. In the magnet modification station. Because we've only been running a vanilla, like, base ma- Not vanilla, but like a basic magnet for the longest time. And these things not only have durability, which we've learned is pretty significant. It's got a range upgrade... Velocity upgrade, which I think is huge. That doesn't even cost that much. And a mana efficiency upgrade. This takes Red Vault Essence and Red Vault Essence for the range. I think the range and velocity would be nuts. Mind you that we're not using this right now for breaking chests, so we don't necessarily need this, but I'm down to kind of mess around and get a better magnet for, like, building and stuff, because I've been using a magnet outside of the vaults. So let's do a little bit of... Red Vault Essence, that requires Vault Essence and Pain Eye Gems. How many, how much Essence do we have right now? 164. And Essence is used in creating the forges. Oh, it's actually using a lot of crafting. It's using a lot of crafting. Well, hang on to, I, I don't want to burn through too much. Again, I mostly want to use, can we make like maybe... I wouldn't be against allocating 16. I think we'll use this up at some point. I think it's fine. Because we also need Red Vault Essence for the Tool Vice. But we haven't really been running the Tool Vice with anything at the moment. Because we haven't been finding that super valuable. And then we need Bronze for this as well too. So we can chuck out a little bit of Bronze here. A modest amount of Bronze into here. 
And I'm reminded again that that only goes 64. Vault plating and magnetite ingots. Where are the... So, magnetite ingots are made with raw chromatic. Or regular chromatic. And we have 55 of those. So, we've got a good bit of that. Let's at least take... Let's take eight more of those for right now. I think would be a good pitch. Okay. So, let's try out... I'd probably want to go with, um... Hmm... But with the breaking point of this, is it more worth it to do the expensive stuff first and then the less expensive stuff later? It's probably worth it to do the... There's a correct answer to this and my brain just isn't functioning right now. It's probably worth it to do the cheaper stuff first. Right? Cheaper stuff first and then slam the more expensive stuff later. Yeah, it's less expensive first, because it breaks early, it's less of a detriment. Yeah, okay. So honestly, because I'm not breaking chests at the moment, right? Also, I've had my lights on for way too long. Because I'm not breaking chests at the moment, mana efficiency could be really nice. This one's an expensive way to get up there. Uh, I'm mostly thinking, like... Range and Velocity are kind of the main ones for me. So let's do uh, Velocity first. Maybe a little bit of range now. What do you do? What? What do you do? Because there's that damn star in the middle there. Do you guys know what it does? Because it's a socket for a pickaxe for a jewel. But for a magnet? It gains a modifier. A random perk? So it's a modifier, not a socket. Now I think I want to slam down durability. I think now I want to slam down durability and try and hit that. I don't know. Oh! Treasure! 25% item quality! Whoa! Wait, that's big! That's like really big, is that not? That's insane! Oh my god, wait! I, I didn't think it would hit on 65! Oh, it's got the diamond and everything! Wait, show me that on the table! Oh, that's so cool! Wait, that is so sick! Holy shit, okay! God damn, so it's got 600 additional durability, and remember, we've been running the same exact magnet for god knows how long. Mind you, again, we haven't been breaking chests with it, so it probably isn't the biggest indicator, but like, we've been using this in the overworld with like, netherrack and stuff for the longest time now. And it's not taking a lot of durability, and it's got two repairs on it. Two range, two velocity, and plus two mana efficiency. I'm gonna roll another magnet. You kidding me? I'm, 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 I'm doing it. I'm rolling another magnet, dude. We got the treasure magnet. Run me up on this one. No way we get this lucky again. I liked the way that we did it before. I, I liked the run through. Okay. Yeah, it was plus two, plus two, and plus two. We're out of magnets, I think it's... You can't put unbreaking on the magnet, though. Fuck! I'm going again. <laughs> Surely, the believers, right? They don't just get shot off on the first thing. 
I'm gonna need more magnetite. Fuck, hold on. Oh, the blue ball. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My bad. You're in a vault when he's joined? That makes sense. That will never not be fun to do. Believers take it home! Believers take it home with a modifier. Soul hunting. Plus 50% soul shards. Interesting. So that's a specialty one then. If we're really trying to like bring it out from uh... We're trying to get some souls. Fuck, that's still not good for overworld work. I don't want to use one on overworld either. But I guess it's really nice for soul hunting because, like, you know, the velocity and the range, like, it'll get into your bag much faster. That's pretty cool. Hey, what's it look like on here? Kind of looks like uh, you dipped it in some grape jelly. But, hey, you know what? Maybe uh, if I say that loud enough, I'm going to get visited at 3 a.m. the next day. We go again? Yeah, of course we do. All right. Start with the range. Velocity. I meant to do velocity first. It's fine. Manifesty. Fuck! We're never gonna know. We're never gonna know. <laughs> God, if only... Oh, man. Chet. If only there was a way to get more magnetite and to get more chromatic iron. If only there was a way... I think I'm gonna- I think I'm gonna try a shield. I think I'm gonna try crafting a shield to see what it's like, you know what I mean? We'll give it a run through. We're level 21. Maybe we could get a shield with a tier 2 base, tier 2 block chance. Like, it could be nice, you know? Craft an idol. I love the look of the non-default shields. Aw, oh, man. Uh, okay, there you go. That's interesting. So 11% block chance and 4% res. 4% res I don't feel like is that major. 11% block chance isn't terrible. I think I'm gonna maybe do a quick little cheeky reroll on that. So maybe we can get a little bit extra health would be significantly better. Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay, well, I'm content with my offhand now. Give me those extra two hearts. Thank you, baby. <laughs> I'm alright I'm all right with that. It's pretty good. It's not bad at all. Yeah, and then the 11% block chance like it's a tier 2. Can't complain on that one too much. Upgrade from a 7. We don't have a slowest plus cloud when hit, but that barely ever practice. It doesn't really make much of a difference when the thing that's killing me is immediately in front of me and on my ass anyway. So let's take the 4 health. It's pretty good. Okay. So now it's between a chest plate or boots. Again, the chest plate... We've already got four health, nine mana regen. I think I'm probably gonna want to run down maybe boots. Because we do have max six armor, seven armor on the boots with a tier one. But like, I think... Mm, we could bump up on the armor to be better. Uh, axe is good. I like our axe. It's an 18.5 damage, two chaining. Like, this is this is good. I'm, I'm good with this one for right now. Uh, we'll try chest plate. 3.3. 4.8. Hey, you know, that's different than the last than yesterday. That's a 1.5 increase. It's pretty nice. It's not bad. Stays scrappy though. I don't know if that's uh mm. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that boy. Reroll for sure. I'd be wasting my rerolls at that point. Let me just keep you in here for a moment. I feel like I gotta entertain the idea of a common more than anything else, right? Run me up another chest plate. 4.8 to 5.9. Ooh, the proficiency is going up right now. And it's not making a damn difference yet. 
7 armor, 6% credit resistance. It's already a little better. Maybe like one reroll. Tier 1 health? What am I at? What, what, what is up with that? I'm kind of questioning why I did that in the first place, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm going to run it down one more time. I'm going to run it down one more time. What's that? 5.9? 6.2? Okay. All right. That one, that one was, wasn't too good. Shout out to, uh, to when I, I was watching Abe rolling. Uh, I don't remember what he was making. Chest plates, I think he was doing as well, or something like that. And he was talking about, like, I wonder what the range of uh, proficiency increase is when you're rolling gear. I know you can get point one because I was watching Pete when he was rolling gear. So that one I... What the hell is, what the hell is going on, man? I... The... the... Leave me alone forever. Give me a wild focus. Thank you. Don't even talk to me. Four armor? Well, 20, what the hell is going on, dude? We here at Vault Hunters 118 want you to craft gear more so than looting it from... I'll do you now! Cooldown reduction. First time I've seen that on anything that I've rolled. Huh. That's interesting, because I wonder how rare cooldown reduction at CDR is, right? Because it says tier 1. So I wonder if that means it's obtainable at any level, because it's tier 1. It's just, like, rarer than something else? Because I barely even see cooldown reduction when I run... The gladiator arenas. You're so broke? Yeah, because I spend shit. Huh. Interesting. So additional, in place of 4 HP, additional mana and 5% CDR. So it's plus 1 armor in place of 4 health. I get bonus mana, so 126 blue soda. And 5% CDR, which... And we admittedly don't know everything of, like, how good that actually is, but... I'm gonna rock... I'm gonna try and craft some new boots now. I think we'll do a little bit of boots. We got 2.4% on the proficiency. Rock some boots. 0.4. Okay, you know what? It could be better. Do boats. Got you. Sad times all around. Oh my god. Goodbye forever. Thank you. Uh, last roll. 2.8. 3.8. It's just a very sad time. God damn. Straight into the gutter with you. How interesting. Interesting. Cooldown guarantee? Were we not just talking about that? That's interesting. Huh. So you can just refor modify, reforge all prefix and suffixes, guaranteeing cooldown. Interesting. Interesting. So we probably want to save that until we get like a pretty damn good piece of gear. Because cooldown just now appearing at level 20, like we don't want to put that on a tier, on a scrappy, where it's going to be like the only thing on the prefix or suffix. 
I would imagine it's a suffix. We want to wait until like we get a good piece of gear for that bad boy. Whenever that'll happen. <laughs> um, okay. I think I'm going to rock the, uh, yeah, it's going to be a little bit weird losing the health. But I think I'll rock the additional mana. Honestly, no, hold on. 9% mana regen versus just 7 mana. 9% mana regen is better than 7 mana. Is it not? It definitely is. No, it definitely is. Yeah, 9% mana regen is definitely better. Only new YouTube upload, my YouTuber. Tell me how you liked it if you watched it. I hope you did. I hope you enjoy it. If anybody watched the YouTube video of the episode 1 recap, there will be more coming, and I hope the content was- I hope the quality of it was good. Seems you have been down to one heart in a few recent vaults, the hearts are definitely worth more. You know what? Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> you are, uh, you're not wrong at all. Nah, like it's not a bad chest plate. It's not- it's not a bad chest plate at all, but I think we'll, um... Yeah. So it's 4 health and 13% knockback res? Yeah. Yeah. What about 5 health and like higher cooldown? You know what I mean? Like what if we just did a little refresh and uh... What if we just um... Now item rarity is kind of nice. <laughs> now, now hear me out. Hear me out in the 15% item rarity and the 13% item rarity and then the 25% item rarity. Like, hear me out, you know what I mean? Should be out in 5 minutes if you want the skulls? I would be more than down, yes. I have 143 shards at the moment, so I can buy two from you to start. Now you're starting to really stack rarity? Well, now at this one, I kind of want to reroll these boots that have plus one armor on them. What are my other boots that I have? Do I have other options? Not really. Not really, no. But I think we'll do a little cheeky reroll on these. I thought that was... <laughs> Adam Quantity, I'm alright. Now, the soul bound, if we're going to be soul flaming, is a little pointless, but the five health in place of one armor, I think is pretty... What's the council feeling? You want two, Pete? That's all I can afford. <laughs> Unless uh, you'd be okay with me on a, on a payment option or a payment plan. Because I can't only afford two right now, but if I'm running vaults with them, I can bring over the soul flames and deliver to them, to you, as time goes on. Try to get rid of it in random? There's 16 of the nullifying focuses? Who recommended that I'm banning you? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We just roll a little bit more. You know what I mean? We just roll a little bit more. <laughs> hey, that looks familiar. Oh, not the item rarity. Oh, don't do that to me. Wait, no, that's, that's what I wanted, though. Wait, that's what I wanted. <laughs> Surely if I use the nullifying focus on the boots, then it'll remove the res, right? Oh! <laughs> Is resistance going to become the knockback res of last season? It's not bad, it's just how... It's not bad. It's not bad. The resistance. The mana... 
How many focuses do I have? Because the thing is, I can get a lot of focuses from scrapping gear. Oh my god, I need to be putting those in there. I have a wrong perception of how many focuses I have currently. We have plenty. Crab essentials quite low. I mean, yeah. It's five. <laughs> so that probably actually is the reason why it's only five mana and 11 item rarity because the crab potential is absolute donkey at the moment. I think I'll probably just leave it with that. I think I'm content with the, uh, the additional mana. Hey, we got 124 blue soda now. How do you pull? There we go. Oh my God. Take all I'm worth. We're on loan. <laughs> so you have 357 shards somewhere around that line it's like some more soul shards to figure it out yeah 147 minus 500 143 yeah yeah hey thank you Hooking it up with the Wither Skeleton Skulls. Love that. Alright, let's do a little Soul Flame action before I find out there's something else that I don't have any of. How do I make Soul Torches? Coal, Stick, and Soul Soil? Run me up with a little bit of these bad boys, alright? Thank you. Thank you! Whoa. Gnarly. Okay. You know what? Hey. I'm not ashamed to admit... I'm not ashamed to admit it, you know what I mean? Exhausted other modifiers afterlife. I'm not ashamed to admit it, you know what I mean? Like, hey, you know, you know? Why does the treasure magnet say quality instead of rarity or quantity? So what do I have now, currently? Item rarity, item rarity, is that 26 item rarity? Item rarity, item quantity, 26%. Alright, it's a typo, it's a typo, it's a typo. It's, it's item rarity, 51%. It's a typo, we're good. Good catch, though. Part of me really wants to give these a reroll. Not a reroll, but a uh, remove modifier to see if I can hit the suffix for soulbound. And even so, like, rerolling a couple of times and maybe hit, like, uh, item rarity or health or something might not be terrible. You know what I mean? And not to draw on these pants. Come on, man. Let them die. <laughs> nah, I'm keeping the mana. The mana's nice. If I'm going to be testing... If I'm going to be testing out item rarity with that magnet, I want as m the best item rarity combinations that I can physically get. Because otherwise, what's the point? Tell me I'm wrong. What other time to work on legging and proficiency than, than literally right now? Point four? I eat point four for breakfast, dude. I'm not even going to look at it. I'm kidding, I am. I mean, that's expected, right? Tier one, five armor. Like, that's fucking terrible. This is awful. I, why did I do this? But like, what if it gives like health and and item rarity? Oh my god, I thought it did. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Oh. 
Another one of these. Is it appearing because we're higher level, or is this just a rarity chance all along? Guaranteed mana? Interesting. Also, I'm gonna need a chest here, huh? I finally have a reason to get rid of the second crafting table. Interesting. Well, that's cool. So we got cooldown and guaranteed mana. Neat. Very, very neat. Alright, we, we can run a vault. We can run a vault. Because I don't think I have item already on any of their legs. I'm pretty sure I already checked. Yeah, and I don't have any leggings that I'd really feel comfortable going into a vault with anyway. These are all scrappy. And then I think the leggings that I have in here... To be honest, like, these give a pretty good shot. I'm gonna- I'm probably not gonna do anything with these, so I can at least mess around with these and see if they offer, like, anything good. Item quantity. Oh, man, if you would've done it right there. Keeps the mana. I lose two armor. But I do get 11 I is 11 item already worth losing two armor for? Keeps the 10 mana is kind of nuts, though. Ear. After laugh me up, baby. Three spider webbing spools. Oh my god. I guess if it's in a basic chest, it's honestly not too bad. That's one of the better things that I could have gotten just because of the quality, uh, the quantity of them. What do we need? Blood vial, spider soul charm? Oh, speaking of spider soul charm, soul charm, there's a spider on my wall right now. I think that's the one from yesterday. Regular spawner. Come on, blood vials. Whoa, careful now. How many times have I just shot my bat dealt a lot of damage? Alright, vials are done. By the way, you guys noticing how much better the, uh, the magnet range is now and the velocity? Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, that's good. Damn, this room is kind of hot. Why am I grabbing the bread? Brother, that is not, of all things to be grabbing, that is not one of them. Oh, hey, you know what? The game is giving me a little bit of love right now, and that is nice. It's like, hey, you know, you're crafting some gear? You're doing a little bit of some gear crafting? I got you, brother. You know what? Like, I, I appreciate that a lot. Oh my god! Back off me. I'm hot right now. Double leggings and a POI? Crazy. This call needs to make a crossbow skin that looks like the Ender Dragon head and call it Crossbow. <laughs> what? You're hired? Yeah, well, I'm saying this is the 400. I will just throw it out there right now. I am taking, like, pretty heavy damage. Like, I'm getting dealt four hearts from a zombie hit. I don't know if it was like that before, but I might be missing that two armor just a little... Oh, my fucking God. I might be missing that additional two armor by a decent amount right now. But also, is that item rarity? Wait a minute, I just realized, is that item rarity doing that for me? I 
I kind of forgot the whole reason I went into the vault. That's one spider rubbing spool. Oh, don't drop down like that. Don't do that right now. I'm fragile. Get me out of here. Gotta find gilded. Gotta find some gilded. And then gotta keep looting right your chest. This is a very, very doable scav. What the hell's going on here? Uh oh, my immersion. My vaulting experience, baby rage. that where are you going <laughs> what the fuck oh uh yes hello there Thank you. I think that guy could have fought me. He just elected to be like, Nah, you can break the spawner. It's fine. I don't really want to exist. Oh my. Days almighty. Got this one. That was pretty good. That's pretty significant, I'd say. I will say the axe is, is doing wonders. I'm really enjoying. I'm a big enjoyer of this axe. It's got some damage on it. Like we might be taking damage, but we're also outputting damage. Oh my Omega. So you know, trade off like, you know, trade offs there. Oh, drop off point as well, too. Okay, what is this? Directly uh, east from the spawn. Let me up. Go. Spore rare item. It's an Omega item. Fuck. <laughs> so in terms of items from... Uh, Rayorchus? Yeah, it's the rarest item for Scav. They're, the color is based off the rarity. So if the color's green, then yeah, it's the... It's an Omega. Just wanted to do a little quick check. Thanks for letting me take a peek before I buy. Understandable, I'm sorry. I understandable, I'm sorry. I apologize. Just 
Should have had the trap disarm chance, man. Should have, should have done it. Should have had the trap disarm chance. It's my life without trap disarm. I don't know if it's a uh, life that I want to be living. Oh, W chosen. Ouch. They're going to spar soul charm. Frick. Dang it, man. Yo, take the bread. I don't need that. I've already had my carbs for the day. I see that behind there. I see that. Like, what are you doing right there? A saucy little chest is chilling right there, man. Hello, life alter. That was a weird, uh, that was a weird engagement. All that was. Nine hearts for a lot. Oh. Man, are you sure about that? That's a lot of HP. That's a lot of health. You know what? Fuck it. I got item rarity. Let's find out. Hold on a minute. Oh. Okay, but that's kind of comedy, though. Like, if I'm being honest. That's pretty funny. I see those gildas over there as well, too. How did you do that? That was way too good of you. All right, Gildas, what you got? Oh! What the fuck? From where? You exist in this vault? Hey, bud! What the hell are you doing in this vault? Jesus Christ! Eighteen months in Jeepers. Jeepers. Man. Is there not a third one around here? Frick. Hello, drowns. I'll be honest, I'm not the most happy to see you right about now. right into that guy. <laughs> I thought I could dash past him. That was a little bit of an ego, th ego push for me. Still, I got one spider webbing pool spool. I don't have a charm. It's still within gra- Oh my god. The epic? If the transmog is not just colored that way? Mm. 
Where are you coming from? You got a dungeon back here? Ah, uh, dungeon, just a POI. Respectable. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Back off my ass. Back off my ass, spider. You and your stupid freaking hitbox. They seem squishier. They seem a little squishy. Holy shit. Thank you, shield. I ran into that. Matt! What is going on with this spotter? It was right at the staircase, so like I understand. Jesus. Alright, hold on. Hold on just a moment, okay? If you would, please. I need to put away some things. You need to take that. You need to give me that. Oh? Man. He's stacking. Arrest him. That's him right there, officer. I don't know what the chest had in it, but I've already forgotten, so it couldn't have been important. Going north. Noted. I see a time altar, some living. I want the coins at the very least. Man, that was such a stupid play by me. Spawn one more time, come on. Nice shot. Good aim. Whoa! Hey, back off me, bud. Wonder if time alters five minutes now? That'd be something, wouldn't it? Iron armor! Wait, we got the armada. Look at this. Iron armor, gold armor. Gee. Whoa! Speaking of. Oh, it's from that spawner. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize that was a dying range. All right. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Um, I think because there was a little bit of talk about it, right? I think mana regen is considerably better, like by 17 million miles better than just plus mana. Plus mana is fun to get that, like, initial little boost. But, like, I'm constantly using mana inside of a vault. Mana regen is, like, that's what gets me back on my feet when I'm down where I'm at right now, you know? So I think I've kind of... If anything, I've demoed off the difference, and I'd say I'm pretty determined on that. Because maybe there's some vaults where I'm not really using a lot of mana, but, like, I'm constantly needing to heal from getting hit. Like, I need that regen, like, crazy. Dashing around. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think, I think, so. I think so. That's just ores. Ours. 
it's not a percentage of your max mana it's a set amount so the base mana regen is point uh seven two five i think it is 0.725 mana per second Good one. <laughs> Minus 25 mana. <laughs> 1 7 5, unless they changed it. Then it probably is 1 7 5 then. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I see you up there. I think even if I got a spider soul charm, it wouldn't actually matter because I'm not going to get two spider roving schools. I don't believe. These aren't even gilded, so. We had the uh, the two item rarity procs at the beginning and that one POI and that was it. <laughs> we had the two pieces of gear from that one and that's been uh, all the stories said so far. Actually, I need to be going this way. I'm going backwards and I have no choice but to go backwards now. Leave me alone, brother. I'm going to loop back home. Turn them into UXP anyways? No, you complete the scab or you don't. Oh yeah, I block this off because there's a bunch of guys up here. And also the drop off point too. Found find the Omega rooms? Right here. It was so dark, man. I really thought... <laughs> I really thought it's not worth going up there for the gilded's. Take too much time. Won't be able to get the weapon schools anyway. Yeah, man, this scab was super doable. I mean, it probably was. I just don't think I was looting for the scab the entire time. I think I was definitely going for the uh, these kinds of chests for considerable amounts. Ouch. Grab a sloss a little bit here. I'm not gonna. Damn, I got Gildas in front of me, Ornates on me, living to the right. Like, they really changed up everything. It's crazy. Ouch. Oh, brother. You gotta get out of here. I got no mana to get out, though. I gotta move. Stay off me. When you're all soul hunting under Valkyr, that'll be interesting. Building up like builds for soul hunting specifically. Like a bunch of them. Yeah, that'll be really fun. Are we not fine? Spider webbing schools and spider soul charms. Plus eight. TV bird! God damn, thank you for the 10 gifted! What the hell? 
I appreciate that an absolute ton. Thank you, thank you. Holy shit, thank you, TV Bird. That was very generous and kind of you. Thank you, thank you a ton. All right, hey, we got some gear to roll. Let's uh, get out Skadoodle. That was 4,200 experience. Did they implement the change yet? Actually, they might not have yet. Oh, you know what? They might not have implemented the... No, I don't think they did. No, I think they're planning to, but they haven't yet. So I think currently... Yeah, I think currently we can't get artifacts from the vaults if we complete them with Afterlife, but they're going to be changing it to where you can. Uh, you'll just get half the experience. Left roll first. I'm really hoping the right way is on this one. Six armor. Nearly low, low roll on every... Actually, complete low roll on everything. And the suffix is empty. I don't know how I can get worse than that. Unless it rolls its tier one armor on the right. That ain't looking good. Now, I'm not going to complete the Gamba immediately, but I'm just saying there aren't many cases where the left would be better. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, okay, so uh, the rights went on that one for this time around. Oh my god! Seven armor, nine mana, five health, 13 thorns damage, 11% mana regen, and 3% CDR. Jesus. 124 crafting potential on that one. That's gnarly, man. Why compare mana regen versus cooldown reduction? Or mana versus mana regen. Just get both. Not wrong. Not wrong. So what is that going to be retiring? 5 armor, 10 mana? Ooh, baby. Is it worth re-rolling a little bit, though? Because the thing is, like, the mana, both the increased mana and regen is pretty nuts. Yeah, I'm going to re-roll. All right, first reroll. Double empty suffix? <laughs> Five health, six res, empty prefix, and empty suffix. 400 durability. 20% thorns damage. Uh... Oh, 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 oh. Two armor and five health. Two armor and five health. Trap disarm chance, 7%. Thorns damage and cool. Okay, so kind of like half good, and then you have trap disarm, which is interesting. Just in terms of defense, though, two armor and five health is like that's that's really nuts. There's a part of me that wants to do a nullifying to see if we can snag off the thorns trap or cooldown. You know, it's 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 nice. Like yeah, like it's it's an it's an inch. <laughs> Those prefixes are kind of clean. The suffixes are eh. In a standard vault, you loot like what? How many chests? Let's say you loot like 60 chests, right? And six of them are trapped. The trap disarm chance might not even proc. Like in that entire vault. Then Orphan Sucks is only? No, I think that would be too overpowered. So in a standard vault with 10 trap chests, it still might not even proc. <laughs> it couldn't be, it would bring it down to 3% because then you have 8% and anything else on any other piece of gear. A trap disarm can be on those other pieces of gear and it suddenly doesn't happen ever. That can't be a thing. It has to be like, this chest is going to be trapped, but there's a 7% chance that it won't be. Yeah, you'd need to stack it on like a bunch of pieces of gear. It's like you have to run specialized gear sets for trap disarm specifically. 
I feel there's confusion on how a lot of these percentage-based modifiers work. I mean, yeah, the documentation isn't crazy on it, right? So, like, that's gonna happen. Oh, actually, Hellfire? Oh, it's just cost? I didn't know that. I had a misunderstanding this whole time. Well, in that case... <laughs> Now that 10% mana regen is kind of nice. This man greedy? I'm having fun! 7 mana, 2 armor, thorns damage, soulbound. We're keeping that. Now that, we're good. We're keeping that. That one right there, that one's good. I'm good on that one. We're happy with that. That's a nice looking salad right there. That is a nice, healthy looking salad right there. Actually, hold on. What do I have in terms of regrets? Actually, quite a lot. Um, you know what? It's a little silly. What do these require in terms to make? Okay. I think here's what we're going to do. You mad haste to upgrade, baby. I, I listen, man. My feelings got in the way when I ran to that mine room earlier. I did something that I I wasn't sure about, but thank God for regret nuggets. All right, you. What you got for me? Four ob. Am I fighting the boss? Interesting. I'll do some scans as I'm going into rooms. I'd like to do the altar. Hello, ghost. How many of you do we need? 10 monster kills? Oh. Uh, whoa! Oh, Nelly, hey. Calm down a little bit now, please. Yeah, still getting my ass kicked. <laughs> still, still very much getting my ass kicked by these mobs. Also, did this break? Yeah, it did break. Are there any other spawners down here? Yeah, I'm not spending my time. Sorry, Alter. Sorry, Adana. Maybe another day. This one's just not looking uh, the most easily doable, I'll be honest. You think that ghost and zombie came from the same person? You know, that's a theory. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, hey, I didn't take too much damage on that hit. Whoa, I'm taking half a heart or a heart and a half. That's not hurting too bad. Is my armor... Is my armor making a difference? One that I can feel? Haste. Haste! Yeah, baby! Cosmetic zombie. Alright, come on, man. Maybe I should have kept the trap disarm chance. Maybe, maybe it wouldn't have been too bad after all. Damn, that's fast. Oh... My days, what a time to be alive. What a time to be alive. 
with some item rarity. My stomach's fucking gurgling, dude. <laughs> I really, it's like, it's like everything in me to run one more vault, I'll be honest with you. I just need some sustenance and I'd be good for another little bit. There's some stuff up there. God damn, what a distance. Whoa, now. Hey, don't be doing that. Hey, don't be doing that. Hey, don't be doing that. Back off. What kind of damage are you guys doing? What the hell? You didn't even hit me. What are you? Fire from a gladiator arena or something? All my days. The double chest! <laughs> I love that. Checking every little bit up here. That would be the only one. We done up here? So we're done up here. So that's a mighty fine epic. Apparently it's a helmet day. I'm, I can't say I'm too happy. Oh my god. I can't say I'm too happy about that because I really like the helmet that I have. But hey, you know, like maybe we fashion up a trade. You know, actually we don't know what we could get. You know, like maybe you never know. I also never noticed this design until right now. That is a very cool. That's a very cool design. You missed part of that room? Direct me on the way back. I wanna make sure I get that. What the fuck is going on, dude? What? Like, what's going on? That's so many helmets. Did I get this? Yeah, I did. What's down there? What's in there? Hey, it'll lead me to a second room or something. All right, pretty nice. All right, what uh, what I miss? Oh yeah, this spot. Holy shit! Good call. Chat, I'm never taking suggestions from you ever again. I forgive you. Should I forgive you? I completely forgive you. Hey, uh, good shout, guys. Uh, on that one. I need to know what the book on the lectern says. Waffle note. The book on the lectern? Where's the lectern at? It's not down here. Is it here? The floor you last cleared out. God, in my hour of uptime, that doesn't help me at all. Is there a lectern here? Up two floors? Oh, this one? Oh, 
Oh. Happy exploring, adventurer, Sunny. Homo here, back at it again with another message in the book. I hope you've been enjoying the vault so far. Yeah, they've been pretty good. Thanks, guys. Cheers. There's a 500 bits, DVA. Good shot on that one. Alright, so that was, like, pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys got anything to sell? You guys selling anything? Imagine just not selling anything. Totally a thing that's happened before. What's attached to me? Got pickles. Where are the sales happening at, man? I'm just going through people's homes. Just looking to buy something. Oh? Ash jewel for one gold? Sturdy? I'll get sturdy for a gold. You don't have to tell me twice. <clears throat> Anything else y'all are selling? Listen, I'm in the market, okay? Just point me in the direction I gotta go. I think that might be it here. I don't know. I'm looking inside. I think this room's designed for you to, like, take a look around and kind of, you know, it doesn't just present it to you immediately. Oh my god, they use the netherrack. Or it's not really netherrack, but like it could have been netherrack as like a hanging meats. I love that. What about up here? You already check up here? What the shit? Oh my god, I love that. This hunter shows sales? I don't think so. Maybe I'm just out of range of where the other sale was. Dude, the builds and design on this are crazy. I love it, man. I don't think there's any other sales going on here. I think that was the only one. Alright, hey, you know what? We got a jewel for one gold? I'll take it. I will take it. Back to, uh, conventional vault running? Oh, hello. I forgot we're supposed to fight a boss. Not sure if I'll be doing that, to be honest with you. If I was driving a minivan right now, I would uh, have a sign in the back that says baby on board. Oh my god, the haste too on the attack speed. I can feel it. It's nice. Ouch. Back off me. Whoa, everybody. Hey, call- Holy shit, there's a lot of you. Goddamn. Hey. Be afraid. That didn't affect any of you. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I want nothing to do with you. Back your ass off me. So there's some crossbows? Yeah, crossbows are still good. They take a little bit of time, but they help clear out, uh... Clear out hordes. All right, dead end. Dead end for the most part. What's that little redstone bit right there? Oh, that's cool. Ooh. Oh. I'm seeing a lot of good things here. A lot of mobs as well. About to make back what I spent at the Omega Room. Not me to do that. Kind of upset that I did. Is 
What's up, friends? Let me get away from the spawner. Oh my god. I don't want to see what orbs are down here. No way I get this in time. It's been way too long. Damn. Hello, Mr. Pizza Man. Did not expect me. you to still be live after going to bed and work in the morning. Love that I can catch at least some of these long streams, lol. Right on. Doing the thing, watching stream, getting sturdy. Yo, thank you, real sick. I appreciate the six months. Thank you, thank you. Larm on the chest. That Larimar belongs to the streets now. What do you need, Sen? Are you a regular spawner? You are, thank god. Ouch. Come on now! Oh yeah. Good spawns, good spawns. Hey man, you know what? Like, the pants? Considerable difference. Like, the amount of damage that I'm taking, I feel... Plus eight? Plus eight? I actually feel, like, pretty comfy in them, you know? Ow. You were still alive?! Oh, I don't know what kind of damage I had... protection I deal against you. Two hearts? Get out of here, man. Come on. Thank you. Uh, yeah, my inventory is full. What about it? Magnus doing work. What about it? Okay, I'm in a blank seal. It's nice, you know. Can't complain. See the living chests up there. Not really too stressed about them at the moment. Snack on some gildeds. And proccing every spawner in the entire basement. I feel strong! I don't care that I'm losing a little bit of health. Fight me! I'll beat your ass! Oh, it's nice. I don't know if I get this in time. Oh, mama. Yeah, that's a full shulker. <laughs> Key piece. Hello. We got a few of those, don't we? Just missing Echo. Swings at nothing. Oh my god, there's a lot here. This area, man. These POIs are nuts. I'm gonna refill my fuel on my food. Well, I guess my fuel too.
he can actually swing fast at nothing. That's the thing, too. The haste is going crazy as well. And also, you know, the fact that it's a uh, soul flame vault is uh, kind of nice as well. Holy shit. Oh my god. That's some damage. Don't get me wrong, that is still some damage. Oh, what the fucking haunted house is this? What's going on with the ghosts here, man? That is ridiculous. And you are still spawning? How many guildas are in that thing? It was an ambush spawner? What is happening? You're a little bit hard to read, I'll be honest. All this for what? Hi guys, goddamn. Well, this was a, uh, this is a room. Jesus. Also, I love how the treasure room is just like right there. That's such a strange spot for it. I mean, it's not that it's strange. It's just like, it's so not just against the side of the like the wall of the room. Down to bail? Oh yeah, I'm I'm departing. Nice block. Cover my ass on that one. Thank you, shield. Oh my god, the shield? So well integrated, I know. It's like, I wasn't a part of season one, so I can't say anything. I don't want to, like, call Season 2, like, a beta for this, right? Because they definitely put a lot of... They definitely put a lot of heart and soul into Season 2. But it's like... It felt... And I mean, realistically, it was. They were demoing off a lot of ideas during the duration of Season 2. Also, because it lasted for so goddamn long, they had a lot of opportunities to be like, Hey, we're gonna try and just implement this brand new feature like this brand new idea that we have uh and kind of see how it plays out and it feels like they took almost every single idea in season two and treated it like it was all just a giant demo and then came out with this just really well formed together i don't know it's like season three because season two just it felt like at every point there was this like you know, imbalance with this gem and that gem or whatever, and then they're like, hey, we have artisan scrolls now, and we have, like, this new thing, and... It's just... I'm, I'm genuinely surprised how clean vault running feels, and, like, how well everything is integrated with, like, gear crafting and POIs and rooms and vault layouts and stuff. Like, everything is just so fucking smooth, man. I love it, man. I absolutely love it. It is so, so good. And again, I'm not discrediting Season 2. I'm just talking about the form factor of this feels like they took all the good things from Season 2 and said, we're going to put this in Season 3, give it a good purpose that feels integrated, and also make it 100 times less demanding of your inventory space. <laughs> I can't wait. For everybody who enjoys Season 2, man, I really cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on Season 3. Y'all are going to fucking love it. I'm having a Great, great time playing this, man. I'm gonna run out of submarinos.
I should have fitting time to do it while people that aren't subbed are getting ads. We were on the sub arenas. <laughs> hey, shouts to everybody in here, specifically. Let me know the adorations are over. As we're done? All right. Not even spectating the sub arena, asshole. Always forget to use yeah, I saw myself in that pixel down there. The Yo, code. smash his skull! Oh my god, they do. Go around smashing skulls. Yo, Sassy Jillian, how you doing? They were much the 34. Put me in the arena, coach? It might not be this one. Oh, what was this here? It was the vault on block. Damn, someone got rich. We got one more arena I'm gonna run real quick. I love this thing. Don't forget your fan on? Yeah, the fan's on. Is that a buff smurf? Yeah, you know, I was gonna make a comment about like how that skin lo <laughs> that skin looks like it could just like barge into my house and just but like, I'm not gonna finish that comment because like the person who has this skin, like they might be like 11. <laughs> but like, damn, you know what I mean. Lotus with the win. See you in the Gladiator Arena. We're rolling it from left to right. Do y'all with the scrappy beliefs? The nine percent of you, I do love how the. I mean, the odds are right. You know what I mean. All at once? Nah, because then if I discover anything, I'll just be there in chat. We're gonna we're gonna do one at a time. One at a time. Well, scrappy believers, it's really not looking good for you <laughs> at all. If you played off the odds. Back off. Today is simply not your day. Yeah, nice try, bud. I'm gonna check the gear when I'm done, though. Stop hitting me, man. Is that common? That's common. I saw the Omega pass by. Scrappy on the second roll. Scrappy on the third roll. Scrappy on the fourth roll. Start with the swords. I got a nice axe. I don't know what you could do to get me to pitch over. Oh my god. Scrappy on the fifth sword. Scrappy on the sixth. Well, not sixth sword, but sixth slot. Second sword. Third sword. Seventh slot. It's another Scrappy. The shield... Oh, man. What about the boots to end it off? Oh, man. It, from the... Did I give anybody else hope? The common takes it home. The common believers take it home. Let's start with the best apparent... Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, that one's not retiring my helmet anytime soon. Uh, that one's not either. That one also no, and that one, oh boy. Now, sword. 
Tier 1 eight is... Hello. Max roll tier 2 sword. That 20 looks real clean right there. I can't lie to you. An 11.5 on tier 1. That is a hot looking thing right there. 8% block chance, 2 health. Not better than what we got. And oh, oh, wait a minute. What does that compare to? 6 armor, 5 mana, 11 item rarity. 6 armor, 10 thorns, 11 item rarity. Okay, so I mean, I'd rather take the ones that I currently have. Yeah, I'd rather take the ones that I currently have. Still, though, the 20 damage implicit sword. I mean, that's just better than my axe in like every scenario. Because I guess my axe is still tier one damage at base. Yeah, you know, well, hey, you know what? What do we got? Give me a uh, chaining or cleave, I guess would be the ideal. 10% holy. Jesus, that's 22 damage on uh, undead. I mean, if I'm looking for... I'd be looking for chaining. 12% holy? 21% holy? God damn! Maybe this should be a boss killer. That's 24% damage, roughly, on a boss? And a poison cloud would also mean that the boss has less time to heal. That's pretty dope, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's pretty nuts. Man. Kind of thinking about, you know, like the idea of, uh... The idea of a better weapon. Because the tier 2 attack damage, just like at base. I mean, don't get me wrong. 18.5 damage is not shy of anything, right? But like, compared to this, this just attacks significantly faster with the chaining. Reel the boots once? Mm, nah. I mean... I think thinking just like maybe to get a... Uh, like plus armor or something like that? Mana regen, hello. That loses a little bit of item rarity, but... That's kind of good though. 11% mana regen? Because don't we already have mana regen on our... No. <laughs> we don't have any mana regen any anywhere. 8 armor over 6 armor. We lose out on the 11% item rarity, but honestly, I feel like that would be okay. You know what I mean? You can look at DPS and... Oh, yeah. DPS with this. 41.8 damage. Christ alive. And I don't even have any strength. 41, 41, 43. That's the triple fours right there. That's, that's pretty, that's pretty armored up, you know? That's a one shot to yourself. <laughs> Good lord. Compared to, uh, yeah, 23.9 DPS. I mean, like, that's... Yeah, that's a considerable difference, even for me, who likes to go for crits. Like, that is a significant DPS difference. Jeez. I would be losing chaining, and, like, chaining's a, a chaining or cleave is a pretty big deal to be losing out on, like, even with the lower DPS. Like, being able to fight off other things. Because, like, I play around the idea that if there's, like, a spider or a baby zombie... I usually try and fight, or even like a ghost, I usually try and fight the uh, weaker mob and get it to go in front of it so that I can hit that mob behind it. You know what I mean? So like, I kind of can't just have like a one damage. This is still like for boss, strictly, basically. Reroll until cleave, you think on the sword? Mm, it's not a bad idea to be honest with you. Spiteful. Empty prefix, poison plus. 12% increased damage. What does that increase the DPS to? 46.9? 
That's nice. But... Healing plus. Spiteful. Fail strike damage and durability. One more. I'm losing out on my... Uh... I'm losing out on my stuff. Hey, Chad, do you guys like these things called cliffhangers? That is a lot of people in the raffle. I'm sorry that I have not ran enough today. I will be better about that in the future. How about uh, tomorrow we start off a stream, and I say that knowing that literally all of you that are here right now are very likely not even in the same fucking time zone as the next time I start a stream. So this is great for me trying to build an audience. Um, why don't we try uh, next stream? I'll craft a couple of axes or something if we have the materials to be able to do it. I think I, I, think I could be nice. But uh, my food's like almost at the door and I'm going to hop off stream, but I appreciate y'all a lot. Thank you, thank you. 170% soul chance. God damn. Damn, goddamn, goddamn. Uh, what else do we have around here? Poison. Really high attack damage. Just really high damage axe. Uh, we're wrong with the high damage axe. Yeah. It's fine with that. 11% res, 12 health. My god. Say less. There's the helmet. Block chain. Oh, my. 36%, 14 res. Jesus. The leggings, though. The leggings, though. I'll take the shield. That's probably a bad idea. Well, this is all stuff that I already have. All right, I'm going to be a squishy boy. Well, this is going to be uh, not the greatest for me. All right, bring it on. Yeah, man. These gladiators never stood a chance, dude. 20 armor. Yeah, but like I output beefy damage. You know what I mean? What's my DPS right now? 106. I mean, like, come on, dude. No food. The amount of food you get is based off how many uh, people are going to be in the gladiator arena. I'm not going to lie to you. When I first saw someone with a shield model when I was watching their Vault Hunter stream, I thought that their uh, vanilla shield model was broken. <laughs> I'm like, why is the shield bent over a little bit to the right? Oh, this axe does not deal as much damage as I thought it would. Guys, can we, can we, can we, can we calm down like a little bit? Hey, 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 back off, back off, back off. Fuck. I don't know if, um... I don't know if this is going to go too well for me, to be honest. Oh, son. Oh, shit. Wait. It's not looking impossible. It's not looking impossible now. It's just that they deal literally 10 hearts of damage every hit. Oh, shield block. This took a little bit to get the initial wave off of me. Pretty good. Sorry to everybody that was in there. Uh, skill issue, probably, something like that. Anyway, that is uh, Arena Crate, or Gladiator Crate number seven, I think? Six, seven, one of the two. And the three that are up on my base remain unchanged. Yeah, number six. 
I'm sure I'll figure out what to do with uh, that at some point. But uh, yeah, hey, listen, I appreciate you guys a lot. Thank you for the uh, very, very long stream. But we got some progress done. And again, if you guys have not seen it, I'll go ahead and give you a little show in the nether. We did build this today. It's not the most easily demoable without me going down there, which I can't really do because I don't have my Elytra on right now. But the gold farm is a thing, and I'm going to be working on getting storage set up so that people can go down there and use looting and stuff on it while they uh, are accessing it. But yeah, at the moment, it's non like, we don't, we're not supposed to AFK, right? So we got some swords in here. It's not clean, but yeah, it works. It's effective. And again, shouts to uh, the devs for helping out with the forge issue and permaloading the zero zero chunk in the nether to fix the piglin aggro issue with turtle eggs. I don't know how these things happen in development and that's why I'm not a developer and I can only give respect to the absolute bullshit that they put up with, but anyway. Thank you for uh, watching the stream.